Good morning, dear students. This is Mr. Abdurrahman uh, again uh, with the session regarding the media studies subject. This is uh, the second record recording uh, session. Uh, in this session, we'll talk about a variety of uh, things related to the subject itself. We'll talk about the objectives. We'll talk about how we're going to organize ourselves. Uh, what is the structure of the subject itself? We we'll talk about the objectives of the media studies guys. The point from studying this subject, it's a fun subject, number one. Uh, you need to develop a certain understanding regarding the different concepts of creating uh, media products and developing your practical skills during this subject uh, study. Also, we will be exploring all the different aspects of the production process. This production process can be reflected on a magazine, can be reflected on some sort of a film that we're gonna make, which is one of the things that we are uh, tending and tending to do. Uh, all the different technologies also will be uh, at your hands to understand all the different mechanisms or the different software that we're dealing with the production process. Um, another thing that we're gonna do in this subject, actually, we will need to develop our research skill. Uh, most of the time, uh, the assignments is going to be in the shape of a research. You need to Google about a certain media content. It might be a movie, it might be a video game. And this research uh, will ask you to um, develop your understanding of the impact for uh, the audience, for an example. Or I might ask you to read the meaning in the movie or the film. All of these skills is part of your study, uh, so this is another uh, objective of the, this curriculum. Beside that, as I said, the point from the, this objective is to learn while at the same time having fun and learn to appreciate the role of media in our daily life. Sometimes all of us using video games or using Facebook or wherever it is, but we never understand the background or the process behind it. So we'll start thinking in a different way after you study this uh, subject regarding different media forms. What is media studies? Media studies, as I said, is anything related to visual element. We interact with it in a mass communication way on our daily life. It could be a movie, it could be a video game, the Facebook, all of these considered as a sort of media forms. Media science is a very complicated science it's not that easy as well and in our study for this curriculum we will focus our scope on four major key concepts first we will talk about the concept of media language what is the meaning of media language how we be able to analyze the meaning and transfer to us through the media forms after that we'll talk about how the media creators uh, reflect the reality in these media concepts. We'll talk about the concept of re -represent representation. The people who are watching the media, the audience is the third key that we're gonna talk about or the third major key of study. And lastly, we'll talk about the institution or the, the body or the form that is controlling or funding these media uh, productions. Let's talk about the first, the first major key in our study, the media language. I mean, what is the media language? Um, anything that transfers meaning to you, it might transfer the meaning uh, within a color or a picture or football player, whatever it is. That is some sort of a media language. It could be these, media, these meanings can transfer to you also in a cinematographic uh, concept. It could be a camera angle, a composition of the camera, all of these transferring a certain feeling or communicating with you in a way that is using the media language concepts. Also, it could be something visual, like a character costume. All of these considered as form of a media language. Let's talk about the second major key, the representation. Representation is talking about the concept of that when the movie directors or uh, the media producers trying to uh, transfer the reality in these products, anything that we watch or hear or read in, in any kind of media form is actually reflecting uh, some kind of comparison with the reality. 
even if it's a science fiction. It's something that's referring to something that we we are facing in our daily life. It might be a combat between two races, whatever it is. These things could be fictional, but actually they are referring to something uh, real. Uh, these, as I said, these techniques regarding the representation can using uh, all the different visual elements. As I said, controlling different colors, pictures, whatever it is, all of these can be used uh, in this uh, in the sake of representation uh, of form. Facebook, for an example, considered one of the representation method. It is representing you, and you have different techniques to represent yourself. Uh, your profile picture could be uh, something reflecting you or reflect reflecting the reality that you're living. Um, the posts, the nature of the post or the picture that you are posting is representing you in a, uh, in a realistic way, which is something referred to as representation. Let's talk about the third major key in our study of media study. All this basically anyone who is watching, reading the media forms and they have a reason behind watching it. So, Anyone watching the audience and one they're watching is the audience uh, meaning. It's considered one of the important major keys in the media because basically any director or any media creator, they try to make the media content in a way that appeal to the certain taste of this group of people. If you're making a movie for kids, you can't. There's certain things that you need to consider and it's different from when you are making a movie for adults. This is the why important that you consider the audience when you are planning your movie. You can think of it as like a, a, a big puzzle, and this puzzle is starting to make a meaning for you or reshape in a full picture as you start uh, solving it piece by piece. So the audience is one of the important keys uh, regarding media production and. Um, media when we talk about the audience or we are trying to make a media content you need to consider many things what you're gonna put in the content itself or how you're gonna transfer the meaning let's talk about the fourth or the last major key of our study the institution institution basically referring to anyone who is making the media we're talking about production company for example or even for the youtubers anyone who are making the content itself why it's important to study the institution because if you are making uh, we're talking about a big company who is producing which is producing a documentary movie like geographic channel it's different in the size of production from you when you're making a simple video video games company for example like blizzard they are considered one of the biggest companies that developing video games when you look to their video game style or the size of the game or the details it feels like it's more complicated and more interesting than a simple game made by two freelancer programmers. I'm not saying that the video games that are made by the freelancers are poor, but I'm saying that you can see, see that um, the difference in the funding of these projects or since the institutions could be big or small, it can reflect uh, in an obvious way on the details of this media creation. As I said, institutions controlling the funding, uh, most of these institutions have some sort of ideology to apply on these contents. They have an idea and they have a huge impact on what uh, the content uh, they are making is or how to represent it in the world. It might even affect the marketing of these contents. In our study, we will split the curriculum into two topics. We have topic one and topic two. Topic one talking about the foundation portfolio. In this topic one, we will be we will practice our practical understanding to produce a simple magazine form plus producing a film opening. Anything that we learn as different techniques of producing movies or magazines using different software is going to be applied in these two small projects. <clears throat> And this uh, production or this work that we're going to do in topic one, um, it might be done individually or actually I'm thinking about making it into two big groups. One group focusing on producing the film, one another group focusing on making the magazine. And it's important for you as a student to keep a evidence record or digital evidence of your pro of your uh, progress uh, toward uh, making this, these things. Anything that you do, you need to be recorded because it's part of your assessment. 
So the process of making these two things, magazine on the film opening, it should be recorded, for example, with a video while you're working, whatever it is. Just provide the digital evidence of your work process. When it comes to the topic two, uh, we're gonna focus on the key media concepts. The key media concepts is reflected in two main, two major um, major categories. Uh, the first part is gonna talk about the major key one and two. We'll talk about the textual analysis, how to analyze the media language, and how the representation concept. As for the second part, we will discuss the institution and audience. Most of these topics is gonna be examined for you as a student in a written examination. Uh, when it comes to the textual analysis or representation, uh, as students you will be exposed to all the different techniques regarding cinematography or the camera shots, angles, whatever it is. After that we will jump into the editing concepts when we take these all different shots, how to combine them in a certain way and try forming the last uh, piece of art that we are trying to make. The editing concepts require some understanding for different softwares and different techniques. After that, we'll jump into enhancing the sound of any kind of media content, especially if it's a movie. How to improve the sound, what is the different techniques, what is the different types of sounds, what is the mono, what is the stereo, all of these will be considered as part of our study for the sound. Uh, when it comes to the fourth uh, textual analysis on representation technique, we'll talk about the music a technique or science that is focusing on the idea or the structure of the scene. The picture to the right that you see, you see that the humanoid wolf uh, bent uh, to the right of the to the left of the picture while the uh, rabbit lady to the right all of this structure is considered as a shot composition but the distribution of the scene is one of the things that you're going to study when it comes to the maison set institution and audience uh, in this topic, we will be discussing uh, a variety of things. We will take some case study of a film and start making a research on this film and how they produced it, what is the details behind it. And we look to all of these concepts from the point of view of audience and institution. We, we will take a case study of a music content, a magazine or a printout, besides discussing some kind of radio station uh, channel or form summarize our study by discussing some video game and uh, use it or take it as a case study. Uh, I hope that this video is informative for you, gave, gave you some kind of insight or details regarding what we're gonna do. I hope to see you in another sessions. Uh, take care for now. Guys.